What is up everybody on YouTube, Max Rock here with another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Axon 7. Got the Blue R1 HD to the right of it. Simply a speed test between these two devices. Now obviously, these devices are two different price categories, two totally different phones, but why not do a speed test with them? <laughs> so to get down to the basics here or get down to the nitty gritty, I should say, let's go to CPU Z on both phones. And next you can see, you got the Qualcomm 82215, or I can't talk. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. Two, I'm not, I'm not taking that out. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 clocked at 2.15 gigahertz, and then you got the MediaTek 6735 clocked at 1.3 gigahertz on the R1 HD. This GPU, we got the Adreno 530 and the Axon, and we got the uh, the Mali T720 for the R1 HD. So obviously, two totally different phones, two totally different CPUs, two GPUs. I would make, make a world of difference, but yeah. Let's go ahead and run some of the same apps. See which one opens up first. Now I got I have the Axon on the performance mode. For everyone else to know, it is on the performance mode, so yeah, don't think anything of it. Don't think I got it in smart mode or something like that. So got YouTube here on both um, both phones, so I'm gonna go ahead and open them at the same time. So three, two, one. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, it's faster. So it opened up YouTube faster than the Axon. I'm gonna open up uh, Instagram next. So three, two, one. Oh, wasn't expecting that to come up there, but I'm gonna get that to the Axon there. Next thing I'm gonna open up is Twitter. So three, two, one. Yeah, all right. So obviously you seem that these two phones, you're seeing a difference between the two of them, meaning like you can see why one is more than the other one, but open up a Pi Geek here, so three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this is not even like a regular beat down. This is like a, like a shit on right here almost. But the R1 HD is still a good phone. It's still pretty snappy in my opinion. So I'm just showing you the speed test between these two phones in case you're in the market looking at both of them. You know, cause you might have the money to spend on the Axon, but you're like, maybe I should just go the cheaper route and get an R1 HD, which, you know, it's possible. But if you got the money for the Axon, go ahead and get the Axon. So anyways, go ahead and open up uh, Amazon. Um, so three, two, one. Yeah, it's not even a contest. And so, by the way, the Axon has four gigs of RAM. Blue R1 HD has two gigs of RAM. This is just a quick video, like I said, to show you <laughs> the difference between these two phones here. If you have a Blue R1 HD and you're thinking about getting a new phone and you have the money for the Axon, if you have the uh, R1 HD and you see the Axon, how the way it performs compared to the R1 HD, and you have that money, like I said, for the Axon, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get it. Or wait till the summertime when ZTE releases a new Axon. I believe it's going to be the Axon 7S. It's all rumors, people. It's all rumors. But as far as the Axon 7, this phone right here, that is out, and you would like it over this one here, um, as far as speed goes. So let's go ahead and open up Netflix. So three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Almost a tie there. All right. And then let's go ahead and open. Uh, I would do Super Mario Runner, but I'm not sure if I ran it on this device yet. Do I have anything else in here? Okay. Yeah, we go open up backgrounds. So backgrounds, this app right here. So three, two, one, go. Yeah, I'll give the slight edge to the Axon there. The Axon just don't can't seem to lose against this phone here. Let's open up my music app title. So three, two, one, go. Oh wow, R1 HD won that one there. So now this is where the test comes in. This is where things get a little, you know, 
just so things may get a little greasy here. So CPU Z here. Okay, neither one of them had the reload. Neither one had the reload. That's good. Instagram. Twitter. Alright. Pi Geek was good. Amazon. Look at that. The R180D has a pretty good RAM management, huh? Who would have thought, right? Backgrounds. Title. Boom. Right? Who would have thought, right? So, if you're looking at the R1HD, I can tell you right now, yeah, the RAM management is pretty decent. Um, no complaints in that department. Uh, as far as you running like 20 different apps and RAM management, how would it do? That's when, of course, things get sketchy. But that's with any phone as far as on Android. Like, I don't think there's no phone on Android. If there's, if there's one, it's probably the OnePlus 3T or the OnePlus 3, whatever, with the six gigs of RAM. No phone on Android can really handle that many apps in the background with them all still running as far as like no, not one of them having to reload. But uh, yeah, a fun video here. I know these are two different phones and I got to keep stressing that these phones are in two different classes, obviously. I know that, but I just decided to go ahead and do this test because it's a fun, you know, and it's for the subscribers, you know. I did it because, you know, I wanted to see, hey, can the Blur One HD keep up with it? Because it's a pretty snappy phone, but it's a snappy phone until you get it to a phone that's even more snappy or a little more snappy or snappier. Yeah. Anywho, of course, I want to thank you guys for watching this video here. I may do a live stream. I was actually going to do a live stream of this earlier, but... Um, the app wasn't really cooperating with me, so I had to cut it short. So I ended up doing two videos, but uh, I may end up still going live because, well, I'm not doing anything. And wait, matter of fact, probably gonna have to push that off to tomorrow. I forgot I gotta do something tonight. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys wanna see any other videos as far as my phones and like as far as speed test goes with these uh, two devices or any other devices that I have, let me know in the comments. I want to say, of course, thank you for watching the video. As you do know, my name is Master Rock. Guys, have a good night. Peace. Or good day, too.